Now look, it's not a massive Nobody surprise. Cares. What look, I, I care I do. because that could have genuinely paid for another car. I, I mean, or I, I genuinely do care. I, that could have been a Toyota Celica, or if you're in, from the UK, Celica. I know I people could. get annoyed when I say it that way, but it could have been one of them. 1970s Toyota Celica. That would have been fantastic. It could have it, it could have been a, a a new garage, maybe a lift in my garage. Oh, but four no. po- a four post lift. Ooh. Exactly, yeah. but no, it's been cancelled. But it is still oh. hilarious. So, yeah. Tatiana Maslany was on a weird Twitch stream for some bizarre reason. I have no idea why. All right. Well, um, is there yeah, anything? No idea. Are there? Are there, are there is there anything other than weird Twitch streams? Yeah, true. I don't know. I don't watch Twitch. But anyway, during a recent appearance on Nerd Incorrect's Twitch live stream, Jennifer, Jennifer Walters herself, Tatiana Maslany, was asked if season two of She-Hulk Eternity Law is happening. And she just said, no, I don't think so. I think we blew our budget and Disney was like, no, thanks. <laughs> this had $225 million as a budget as well. I can tell you right now, I can make like seven movies with that kind of money. 220. Godzilla minus one was made on a budget of less than 15. You can make almost dollars. 20 Godzilla minus ones for that. Wouldn't that great? It'd be awesome. Fuck yeah. I think it's absolutely obscene. I think uh, when properly translated. You could basically remake the whole entire series and then something like you could have him fight all the monsters twice. Hmm. At nine million bucks a picture, yeah, maybe even twelve. You know, let's, so do nine, let's, say, let's do nine. Let's do nine. She did say a little bit 15. more as well, which I haven't really grabbed the quote here. Um, so she said, da, 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 "Where is it? Uh, Towards the bottom there, so one up from the bottom." No, uh, no, it's not there. Uh, well, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll find it. What, about what she all gets right there in front of your face. They asked if there's going to be a She-Hulk season two, and she says, "I don't think so. I think we blew our budget." And Disney was no, like, "No she thanks." Said more than that is what I just said. She said oh, okay, sorry, sorry. See, I told you, I'm a child. I'm not paying attention. And, and I, I, I just have to say, you, you blew everybody's budget. I mean, fuck. She blew something, all right. And, and look, I mean, what she doesn't understand is, you. It, I mean, I could have like, I, I could have made money on this. She's like hurting my earnings. Very unhappy about that. Hmm. Well, what do we think anyway? I mean, look, uh, this is one of those things that you go, well, yeah, obviously it's cancelled. Obviously it's not a surprise. Um, but with $225 million on the line, I mean, Christ alive, like what on earth? $225 million. This failed as well. Well, I mean, it failed anyway for, for a few reasons, but it failed as well because they didn't do uh, showrunners. They greenlit it. And they greenlit it without scripts, so they were apparently doing CGI right up and like uh, 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 you know until the wire. They were doing CGI up until very very close to the release of the the series, and it's because they they were like it's, they were still trying to edit it to make it something decent, just all this kind of stuff. I mean, it's unbelievable. What an absolute joke. Well, and this is the, the series that actually went after the fans too, on top of it all, which was stupid. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. That is the other thing as well. They took great pleasure in targeting fans, fandoms. And I still ain't convinced that that one villain wasn't supposed to be Doomcock. I'm sorry. (laughs) Dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear. Are we? Are we? I'm genuinely sad by this. I'm genuinely sad. I think it would have been great to do another weekly review fest of this utter garbage. I'd have had so much fun. We could have had so much fun we on would this. Have had a, I know. Podcast. I feel every I Thursday because it would have been out on like a Wednesday or whatever. Yeah. We could have watched it on the Thursday. It would have been brilliant. I feel like we should just rewatch season one and review it week to week. I'm no. We're not doing that. No. <laughs> I don't hate myself that much. Jesus, no way we're doing that. Oh. When you're spending like $225 million on this, it does make you wonder, It was this 
Was this some form of money laundering at that point? Like genuinely? How was how did it cost? Uh, honestly, I can see this one being a little bit more like I can see where the money was spent, even though the effects sucked. You got to think about it, though. You have a TV show that was what? Eight episodes. I think it was where it's pretty much wall to wall CGI when one of your main characters is CGI half or more than half the time. Plus, you have the other two Hulks and what other whatever other special effects go along with her being a Hulk. So on that, on that note, like, yeah, of course it was not going to be a cheap show. There was a reason why back in the day they used to just slap paint on how, Lou Ferrigno. I mean, how, how not that they had CGI they had? then, but I think there was like eight, oh, yeah. maybe there was, I think it was only 80 episodes. Yeah. So, so what's that an episode then? Sorry. 12 mm, ish. No, that's um 22 ish. Someone there, right? Culture. Some You're American. asking me about math. I'm American. Yeah, I suck. Well, hold on. Sorry. 225. There was eight episodes. Yeah. Yeah. It's so 200 million divided 28 by eight. Point, 28.1 million per episode. Okay. 20, well, 28.1 million per yeah. episode. Yeah. Just to put it into perspective, yeah. House of the Dragon had an episode of 20 million per episode. They probably have better planning too. That's the other problem. See, that's the thing here. That's the problem with Marvel, right? We, we can see that across the board, whether it's the movies or the shows, this is why Victoria Alonso got shit canned is because they don't know how to actually manage these films from beginning to end. I cannot believe they are not storyboarding these things, creating these things like animated films. Because if anybody knows how you do an animated film, you pre-edit that bastard, okay? You sit down and you go through that thing 12 pre-vis. times over till you're 100% sure what's staying, pre-vis. what's going, pre-vis. pre-visit yeah. out. Yeah. Then you go in and you actually do the physical thing once you're 100% locked. These guys, and this is what we, and this is not even a, a rumor. We've actually heard reports, and these are people who are actually putting their names to these reports. These aren't even like an- anonymous reports where they're saying that they will do the work. Disney will say, well, we want this, this, and this changed at the last minute, not realizing the amount of work that goes into these effect shots. So a lot of people are opting not to work with Disney or wish that their companies would not take work with Disney because they're overworking them and they're not paying them. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and the money they are spending, you, you're right. They should be able to get to the level of, game of thrones but they're not because of all the things we just said and it's because they don't know what they're doing until they get deep into it and they change their mind at the last minute in fact what you're talking about nate is i believe more so was that last episode that they they went through tons and tons of changes because they because feige was first resistant to having himself as a character in the show and all this other shit that was going on and yeah, they didn't want to include a hat and all this other kind of garbage. Yeah, and then there was an argument over a fucking hat. Right? Like, how many different times did they have to redo that CGI over that fucking hat, probably? I don't know, but all I know is that that robot was dumb as F, and they, you know, for as little it was a, it was in the show, it shouldn't have been a decision now at all. So, yeah. Dumb. Uh, of course, Terrible. a lot of what Disney does is dumb. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, that's what we count on here. Uh, no. Well, I think and I only well, I think, watched um, like two of the episodes anyway, so I can't really speak to the quality. But I, I've I heard everybody's old, reviews, old. and yeah, I, I haven't heard old. one good yeah. review really. I've heard some middling, but a lot of the reviews mm. end up going, "This is it was a wasted opportunity." Um, why oh, wasn't yeah, why? it? Why wasn't it written like a sitcom in like you know like a Night Court kind of sitcom? You know, it would have made more sense. But no, they they didn't know what they were doing. They clearly didn't have anybody, you know, who knew anything about the law. Like they even said Mm. they didn't have any consultants. It's like, yeah, how could you not have at least a couple of lawyers to consult with? I mean, (laughs) they also they they had a bunch of Rick and Morty writers as well, which is important. Yeah, which let's yes. But um, yeah, let's not not dwell on this for too long. I think the fact that she's saying this means that it is done categorically. You know, because there was also some random petitions like people were like, yeah, hassle Kevin Feige to get it second season. No, they know it's dead. It's dead. Now they're saying this is dead. Over or under, is it dead? Yes or no? Culture. It's dead and Canadian. 
And Tom, over or under, is it dead? Yes or no? If they ain't started yet, then it ain't getting a second season. Yeah. There you go. Done. Yeah. Moving on. Can I can I just say this? I, I thought uh Mats Matslani, Matslani, however you say her name, I think I think she was smoking and that was a wasted opportunity. She's a good act she's a good actor. She was good yeah. in Orphan Black, where she did like yeah. six different people. She's actually a good actor. Um but yeah, shame. Shame, shame, shame. 